Welcome to our configuration guide for Teltonica Telematics FMX 150 series devices. After the device is installed into the vehicle, let's start configuring by reviewing the status section. Once we connect the device to PC, status section will display the important information about GNSS and GSM modules, available CAN parameters if an OEM file is loaded, and the CAN firmware version. We configure the Codec 8 Extended Data Protocol, enabling us to see all the CAN parameters that we'll configure later. Next, let's move on to configuring GPRS. First, we'll enter the Access Point Name, or APN, followed by specifying our domain and port where records will be sent. We also have the option to select different data protocols such as TCP, UDP, or MQTT. Data acquisition is crucial, as it allows us to define how records are stored and transmitted. There are three modes, home, roaming, and unknown. The configuration and reporting frequencies for these modes depend on the current GSM operator defined in the operator list and switch accordingly when the GSM operator changes. The on-stop and moving modes differ in functionality. On stop mode is active when no movement is detected by the movement source, which can be configured as ignition, accelerometer, GNSS, or speed from CAN data. In contrast, the moving section generates and sends records when movement is detected. Let's save the configuration we've made to the device and pass to CAN configuration. For that, we will need to get TCT key, which will allow Teltonica configurator to connect to the server. TCT key is generated on the photo web platform, where you need to select token type and name. Once generated, we copy the key, switch back to the main menu of Teltonica configurator, press Ctrl plus Alt plus I to open API keys menu and register the key. Now we can get back to CAN configuration, select Make and Model, and press Upload. After downloading, we can see CAN parameters from the connected vehicle displayed in Teltonica configurator. The final step involves CAN input output configuration. Here, we set up what parameters should be transmitted to the server. Similar to general input-output section, each CAN parameter can have its own priority. In our example, parameters like vehicle speed, engine RPM, total mileage, fuel level, and some other essential data are transmitted periodically to the server. Once the configuration is done, we save it to the device. Then, we can check the data received by the server to make sure that the configuration was performed correctly. Since the data is received in raw format after processing and validation, the server converts the raw data into a more user-friendly form. More information on communication protocols can be found on our wiki. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video informative and useful.